me, it's all about relationships. Um, the service is the service, but the relationship is what allows it to, to be different. EB Games is Australia's largest retailer of interactive video game products. We have a, a large store network of 375 stores across Australia. Lorna Jane is a ladies of activewear apparel brand. In Brisbane, we have the online distribution store, um, which is fully integrated with Australia Post for our B2C customers. Uh, Letterbox Deals is an unaddressed catalogue that's delivered to around about 3.8 million people uh, in metro areas every two months. And we're based on the Australia Post UMS product. Winnetex is an international sleep system brand. We sell mattresses, quilts, pillows, uh, herbal inlays and adjustable bed bases. Uh, Wintex Australia has been using Australia Post since our inception in 2002, uh, so for almost 10 years. EB Games has been doing business with Australia Post for a little over three and a half years now, and uh, they've been instrumental in helping us get our products to our customers on time and safely. Australia Post is integral to our day-to-day -day business activities. We're a different kind of business. Uh, Australia Post is part of our gross profit it's not an operational expense for us. So the more we're using Post, the better off we are. Australia Post is our online provider of uh, freight distribution to our customers. So it's a full B2C model that's integrated with our, from the website right through Apparel 21 through to Australia Post. Behind me we have our main pick line. It's the heart of our operation where we have numerous staff working very, very hard every day to get a very high volume of orders out to our customers. We chose eParcel because of the signature on delivery functionality, track and trace, and also the easy returns that we can offer our customers. We use the UMS and now the premium UMS uh, mail system. We use the address mail, we use uh, Elms, uh, the online booking system, and we also use uh, eParcel quite heavily. Since the online business launched in 2009, we've seen year-on-year uh, -year growth double. It's been an amazing success for us and we don't see that trend slowing down anytime soon. In the last three years we've seen um, growth go from 200% for the first two years concurrently and then it was in at 150% and this year we're looking at a 50% growth. Uh, during the GFC we found that the company's uh, growth path definitely flattened out but now due to a number of innovative and exciting projects the company's got in place we're now starting to see uh, more growth coming. After we established a national footprint, in the last two years we've enjoyed 15% year-on-year growth in terms of revenue and, and number of pages that we take to market. The biggest highlight we've had with Australia Post would have been around our Mad Monday 2012 online sale. Now Mad Monday is our once a year 24 hour sale that we have in December. In 2012 we hit our biggest number ever and Australia Post helped a huge amount to get tens of thousands of orders out to our customers on time and safely. One of the great things for us has been the implementation of the UMS mail system and now the premium UMS mail system. Uh, it's allowed us to send high, much higher volumes of mail at a much reduced cost. I've been working with Australia Post now for four years and even in that short amount of time I've seen some great changes at Post. I've seen new people enter Post with really strong commercial acumen. I feel like more of a partner and less of a customer. Uh, today Lorna Jane um, set an all-time new record for the most articles dispatched in a single day at 934. That was approximately three times our standard output for a day and that could not have been possible without the full integration with Australia Post. A biggest challenge that we face is, is a very specific challenge within our business and our industries. Many, many products have a, have a street date that they need to be, uh, that needs to be maintained. Now, if we deliver a product early to an online customer, we run risk of breaking our uh, trading terms with our vendors. If we deliver a product late, we obviously annoy our customers. Especially in the um, satchel market, there's been a lot of pressure coming in from uh, other providers, and I think that that will really become a challenge for Australia Post to maintain and keep them out of the market. The main challenge I face uh, working with Australia Post at the moment is the constant competition we face with Walker models. And Walker models are about a third of the cost 
uh, and they probably deliver about half the value. So you can see the equation's quite tough for our business. Improvement in the UMS booking system um, is something that will come forward. There's a number of things that we have requ requested as a company. Continuing to educate posties on the importance of getting it right with delivery. In terms of frequency, just moving to a monthly model would double our existing business right now. So that's massive potential for growth with both Letterbox deals and Australia Post. For EB Games, it's all about the when, the where and the how. When customers can choose to get their products delivered, where they get them delivered and how they get delivered. But the one thing that will drive our growth the most is having a cost-effective solution for the delivery date embargo service. Lowering costs, uh, looking for ways to increase the return on investment from uh, the mail service that, that we use um, are keys to uh, you know, a greater future between us. And I'm very, very excited to see where our partnership will take us in the future.